of Ebu have now gone to one native doctor in Anambra State. She also went to two native doctors in Edo State. And with whatever she's doing there now, we do not know. But I have to tell her this evening that her power is powerless. I am telling you the fact. That is why I have always told you that where you take my name to, so long as my hands are clean, the people will bring the evidence to use against you. If you take my name to do evil, when I have not come to do evil in Biafra struggle, you will be exposed in the right time. Even your husband will send the information and the evidence to use against you. Your daughter will send me the information that we are going to use to expose you. Your husband, your children, your family members will send me the information we are going to use to expose you. I have been saying this thing from the one. Today, the native doctor that did charm to Nelly Ofebu have come to expose Nelly Ofebu and I have every information at my own disposal. So for this reason, and because it is Umwada, and because Nelly is a woman, I want to bring Umada into the program. After bringing the Umada, Umada will lay the background today. After uh, Umada lay the background, we are going to be exposing Nelly step by step. And I want every Biafrans to follow this because Nelly must confess what she did and uh, her involvement in the kidnap of Mazin Namdikano. And according to this native doctor, which she consulted, I have already told Nelly, you must apologize to Mazin Namdikano. And uh, we are not going to release everything at once because we want Nelly to be dancing naked in the marketplace. You know, we are not going to release everything. Now, you know that some of them, some of the pictures we posted, she already said that Nigeria government have uh, have uh, her naked picture and all that. It is all lies. <laughs> it is all lies. And uh, she knows how powerful the native doctor that we are talking about is. She knows what was used to do this juju that we are talking about. She knows what was used. And the world is going to be shocked today. The level and how far nearly have gone to destroy Biafra and destroy the struggle and destroy Mazinam Dikano. I want everyone to listen. I want everyone to listen. We are going to refresh because that is cracking at, according to some people. Welcome back. I think uh, when I'm shaking the when I'm shaking the table, the uh, this thing is uh, cracking. So, I before I bring the umwada in, before I bring the umwada in, I want to make something very clear for those. And please, umwada, you can get ready and uh, you know send the link, please. So we can bring you in. Before, this is just the background of what is going to happen. And of course, as time goes on, the evidences will be coming to the public until Nelly confess what she did. Now, I want you to understand, for those who say Simon Epa is working against Biafra struggle, I do not need to debunk you. I do not need to, to say you are wrong, but time will tell. For those who all they do now, their own Biafra is to fight Simon Epa. Like I said, if what you are doing is that you are doing it out of your ignorance, I pray for you to open your eyes. I pray for God to deliver you. But if what you are doing is because you know that Simon Epa is right and has been on the right track, and all you do because you hate Simon Ekpa and you want to just be doing that, God will punish you. I am telling you the fact. The God of Biafra will visit you in a very big way. But if you are ignorant of this and you are just uh, uh, blackmailing and attacking me just because 
you don't know or because somebody asks you and you don't know, then you are going to be free. So I want to inform you today that I will be the last bus stop of the people that have come to stop Biafra. By the time Mazin Namdekanu comes out, we are ready to go. We will be ready to go with the level of impunity, the level of diabolic, the level of juju and chance that people have soiled their hand in this Biafra movement. We are going to chase them away and God is going to use me. I will be part of those God is going to use. God is going to use Jenu Umwada to chase them away. God is going to use all those that are genuinely fighting for Biafra. And let me say it once more for the very last time that the native doctor that Nelly consulted and made charm, all this charm for Nelly, all this power of Nelly you see today, the native doctor is the one furnishing us with every information we need today. That is how far God can go. It is not just that. The native doctor has destroyed almost all the charms he did for Nelly. Every charm. We saw it koro koro on video. The native doctor destroyed every charm he did for Nelly. And he also warned Nelly not to go to any other native doctor. Otherwise, Akwayara. But she did. So, I did not have any uh, phone sex with Nelly. I did not have any uh, whatever with Nelly. The picture you see was picture of rituals that Nelly did. And like I said, there is going to be audio from them and the explanation to what Nelly was doing, including some videos that prove this whole thing. So, and why are we doing this exposition? The reason why this exposition is necessary is because the spirit, the native doctor himself, asks us to expose Nelly. That the only thing that we need to do is to expose Nelly to the world. And he has furnished us with every evidence. And Nelly knows that. We know that um, she also have been trying and struggling to reach to them. And, uh, you know, she's, it's not possible anymore. So the native doctor gave Ma Nelly Ofebu a mandate that she must come openly to apologize to Mazin Namdikano. That is all that is needed. Once she apologize, something will happen. Somebody say, uh, <laughs> you are primitive. I am not the one that is primitive. You should go and ask your doctor. <laughs> you should go and ask your doctor. Who was doing juju? It's not me. <laughs> okay? The spirit of Biafra blinded her. She go to Biafra native doctor. So you should go and ask her what she was doing with native doctor, not me. And uh, I did not uh, have anything with Nelly to, uh, to get his her picture <laughs> and, or get her video. You know, the video you see we're posting today is the video of rituals. It has nothing to do with um, people making a love on on a video or no 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 it was a picture and videos of of uh, rituals and a lot of things will be explained because that is what was mandated to do so any place she thinks she go to now to do another juju uh well whatever they promise her there uh it's not my business but our own is that we will be your last bus stop in biafra struggle so on this note, let us check if Umada is ready. Let us check if Umada is ready. Umada's, Umada's, the beautiful Umada, the original Umada, the Umada Chineke Japiandi Motale. They are here. We are waiting for this thing to. Here we go. Here 
Yes, uh, good evening here. Good evening here. The Umwada Chineke Japiandiro Otale. I, I, can you people hear me? Yes, we can. Great. Can you make me uh, a co host as well? Okay. Umwada, Umwada, the beautiful Umwada, the original Umwada. We are waiting for this thing to. Here we go. Umadeja <laughs> Piandiri. Yes. Uma deji e chineke ji apiandi o tali de o. Somebody is please uh, uh, turn off your um YouTube. We are having a <laughs> the system is being bombarded by viewers so we you know <laughs> We may have some challenges today, but uh, we are going to manage. I know the capacity is, uh, I don't know what is going to be the capacity today, but uh, we are having uh, quite uh, a big number of uh, viewers. So, because everybody have waited for this day and this is just the beginning. So I'm I, I need to refresh and, uh, and then we, we start. All right, welcome to the program, our own beautiful Umada, the Umada Chineke Japiandiro Utali. I need to introduce uh, the wonderful and beautiful leader, Madam Azoka Charles Wanko. You have the floor. You know that uh, if you have followed my background explanation, you can continue from there. And you do not hide anything because you know how the spirit leads. You have suffered one of the biggest, uh, you have been, been one of the biggest victims in this whole thing, including your own child and all that. So uh, you don't need to miss what. We are here to, you know, follow the spirit as the spirit lead. And then, of course, uh, to fight for the freedom of Mazin Amdikano. And we believe that, uh, you know, this whole information that we have and we have gathered, our investigation, you know that this is a particular, this particular investigation and uh, evidence is, is different from what I have, which I have not even started. You know, you know that I already told you people that I have something and I have not uh, started that exposition. So this exposition, just this information just came, you know, like a few days ago as uh, the God of uh, Biafra land and the God of Mazen Amdikano continue to fight. So over to you, our women, you're welcome. I will just be on the background and I'm continuing to host the program and uh, anytime you need me, you give me direction. Thank you. Hello, 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 hello. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, dear friends. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. And uh, wherever you're calling in from, uh, I tell you, um, uh, it is not a happy day. Unlike before, we used to smile. Uh, but I tell you, today is a different day because um, though we promised in the first place that um, we're going to do everything within our powers to make sure that Biafra comes and, there, and we support uh, the restoration of Biafra. And um, we promised in the first place that we come with only the truth and nothing but the truth. And we promise that we will tell our our people, the undiluted truths anytime. And, uh, but today is a different bargain because we believe that the Umadas who have been working tenaciously to make sure that the truth, or uh, we remove the child from the, the real rice, um, I kind of, you know, a very moody today because it's not a very welcoming day. 
Um, but we know that God of Biafra is with us. The motherland knows that a day like this will come. And that is why we're here. And we are not relenting in any form uh, to make sure that everything that is said to be told our people will be told our people. And uh, with that being said, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here today to watch the exposition and then the deliberations. I want to tell you that my name is Azuka, Miss Honorable Azuka Charles Wankwo, the Umada, one of the Umadas, the great Umadas of Bia France are here too. And I want to equally tell you that I'm Wada by bait and by inclination. And I'm so proud to be part of this, uh, this trend and this, um, uh, this time around uh, that Mazi Sanmon, uh, by your, uh, by your, um, uh, by your leadership, uh, waiting for our um, Mazin and the Kanu to come out, uh, you are taking us to a new dimension. But I must thank you for all you've done and everything that you've done for this struggle. And I tell the Biafran too that it is easy. The talk is easy. And we must tell Biafran people and make them to understand that any allegations that are there uh, has been proven abortive and all lies. And I tell you, we are strongly behind you and the Umadas are 100% behind you. And with that being said, I am gonna introduce the most beautiful Umada, the most talented and the most, I mean, the most wise and beautiful of all times, the Umada of Biafra worldwide. We started this journey five, oh, uh, just a year, almost a year ago, because we wanted to be part of this history. We wanted to make sure that our people um, get their freedom because of the freedom that we enjoyed all over the world. And we now said, okay, we want to come in full force. We are supported by our husbands. And that's why we are here. And I want to tell you that these women you're seeing here are so, so dedicated in what they're doing. We don't sleep. We give our time to make sure we get to the bottom of everything that has happened. And with that being said, I'm going to introduce them one by one, this most innocent heart, most beautiful heart, and most dedicated heart for the restoration of Biafra. And I want to call on our sister, uh, Maureen, to introduce herself. Thank you, my honorable, God bless you. Indeed, today is a sad day. We are not here to smile. We know what we all has been through since the last days. And I want to say hello to all Biafrans all over the world, wherever you are, good morning, afternoon, good evening. So may God bless you all. We all shall live and see Biafra come to pass. And we all must celebrate. As our leader said, that we, when we will start worshiping God, the whole world will think we are drunk in God, God's glory. So I want to assure Biafra that the time has come. And it's just a little, a little effort, everything will come to pass. And I want to use this opportunity to thank Simon Ekba, Indeed, your God is the God that answered by fire, that never sleeps nor slumber. And I want to thank Umada for all the effort and the honesty, the clear heart that we all have been running this race. May God continue to be with us and give us more strength and wisdom. God bless you. Thank you, my honorable. I give. Thank you so very much, my sister. Why it, you look so beautiful today, but I'm not going to praise you guys uh, because uh, the, today is a sad day for the Biafran people, but the beginning of what is to come. And I want to call on my sister, Caroline, to come over and then introduce herself. Caroline, unmute yourself. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Hello, Biafra. Good evening. 